Hi, I'm Francois. Welcome to my channel. This video is about beeps on emotion wheels. Recently, on the Electric Unicycle Forums, um, a person named AUC Christian uh, crashed his Emotion 11 and posted his story uh, because he was not really understanding what happened. And uh, it prompted Emotion representative Liam to analyze the log of the, of the wheel uh, as posted by the app. And in this log, uh, it was quite interesting because Liam said that there was a five second delay during which the wheel could not ring an alarm anymore. And that was really interesting because in this discussion, um, initially the, the rider who crashed thought, this is the fault of the wheel. Then everyone was telling him, no, this is your fault, uh, including Liam from InMotion. Uh, then going past this, it was, um, it was quite clear that the alarm system on InMotion wheel could probably be, uh, be improved. So uh, thanks to a community effort, a lot of back and forth, collectively we, uh, we started to understand what happened and the behavior of the wheel. And the outcome of this analysis, that's pretty much reverse engineering of the behavior of the alarms and safety system overall in emotion wheels, is that there's, uh, in my opinion, a huge gap, no pun intended, there's, there's this gap in the alarm system of the emotion wheels. So today I'm making this video. Now that we understand how the emotion wheel safety system works and doesn't work, that there is indeed a critical safety flow in in-motion wheels that's more critical now that the in-motion wheels are going a lot faster than before. So now I'm going to demonstrate the alarm issue. Um, the process is to reach close to the max speed and then stomp on the pedal to make a really, really brief uh, power demand. The, the wheel will beep then and then we're going to see how long it takes for the beep to work again. Okay, let's go. And um, yeah, wish me luck because this test has to be done at close to max speed. You'll be also able to see if there's any um, tilt back or not. Yeah, that took a long time. Okay, one more round. Stomp, 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 stomp. Ah, interesting. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, that's good. Okay, stomp, 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 stomp. Stomp, stomp. Yeah, there's a delay. This time it beeps several times. So the delay was reset. Really odd. Let's try again. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Yeah, there was a gap here. Okay, so I'm accelerating. Stomp, 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 stomp. Yeah, 
a beep much much later okay let's do that again I'm accelerate, uh, accelerating gently stomp 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 yeah so much later the beep so so much can go wrong between these beeps when this gap between timers is uh, enforced I really think it's a it's a critical issue for safety yeah it takes so long I can reproduce, reproduce it uh, every time now so imagine if uh, if you beep you're on a bump and then you accelerate but well, you have no idea yeah every time now okay so I'm not gonna wait to to crash to stop this video I think the point is made stomp 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 yeah it seems like about five seconds okay thank you